It seems like every other major movie these days is a prequel, sequel, remake or reboot, but they're not all just barely warmed up leftovers. Some upcoming remakes and reboots just might be worth your time or, dare we say, blow you away. Shaft in 1971, MGM released a film adaptation of Ernest Tidyman's detective novel, Shaft. Uh, we're just talking about the original Shaft, starring Richard Roundtree. In 2000, Paramount remade the film with John Singleton directing and Samuel L. Jackson starring in the leading role. And now, New Line Cinema is looking to release another fresh take. The new film has blackish creator Kenya Barris and the Goldbergs producer Alex Barno writing the script, with ride along director Tim Story at the helm. Hiring comedy writers and directors may concern some Shaft fans, but producer John Davis says the movie won't strictly be a comedy. Can you dig it? Universal's Monsterverse. Shared universes are the big thing in Hollywood these days, and Universal Pictures is the latest studio to get in on the action. But instead of turning to the comics for inspiration, they're building a shared monster universe. A, a monsterverse, if you will, centering on the studio's iconic movie monsters of old. It all begins with Alex Kurtman's new take on The Mummy, starring Tom Cruise and Russell Crowe. Hopefully, the finished film will have all of its sound, unlike the botched first trailer. <laughs> that never gets old. Rounding out the monsterverse is Bride of Frankenstein with Javier Bardem playing Frankenstein's monster, Invisible Man starring Johnny Depp, and overhauled Wolfman with Dwayne Johnson reportedly being eyed for the title role, a new Van Helsing said to be in the vein of Mad Max, and finally Creature from the Black Lagoon, potentially starring Scarlett Johansson as the female lead, not the creature. Of course, she does have the experience to play the creature if need be. Disney's live-action remakes. After seeing enormous success with Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland in 2010, Disney commissioned more live-action remakes based on their animated classics, like 2016's Jungle Book adaptation. Beauty and the Beast racked up record-breaking grosses in March 2017 with a live-action take on the story starring Emma Watson. Next, Jon Favreau will try to build on his success with The Jungle Book by remaking The Lion King. After that, Disney's lined up <gasps> Mulan, Aladdin, Cruella, Dumbo, Genies, Peter Pan, Pinocchio, Tink, The Little Mermaid, and a lot more all in live action. With an impressive collection of planned problems like that, at least two or three might actually be good. It. Stephen King's classic It was made into a two-part miniseries for ABC in 1990 starring Tim Curry as the monstrous Pennywise the Clown. Eager to offer a scarier, more lavish adaptation, Hollywood filmmakers have attempted to bring the novel to life on the big screen for years. Beasts of No Nation and True Detective director Kerry Fukunaga led the charge for several years before dropping the project in 2015 following budgetary concerns with New Line Cinema. Now, Mama director Andy Muschietti has taken up directing duties, with Bill Skarsgård playing Pennywise. Producer Dan Lin likens the remake to Netflix's Stranger Things. It's very much an homage to 80s movies, whether it's classic Stephen King or Spielberg. The Crow Several non-superhero comic book movies have done remarkably well over the years, including 1994's The Crow, starring the late Brandon Lee. But for years, Hollywood has tried to remake The Crow to no avail. That may all be about to change with Jason Momoa signed on to film in 2016, with The Hallows' Corin Hardy directing. But with the remake having moved from Relativity Media to Davis Films and renamed The Crow Reborn, there's uncertainty as to whether Momoa and Hardy will remain on board. We'll soon know the film is finally scheduled to begin production sometime in 2017. Escape from New York Set in a dystopian future, John Carpenter's 1981 classic Escape from New York follows Kurt Russell's Snake Plissken, tasked with finding the President of the United States after Air Force One crash lands in Manhattan, which the government has turned into an enormous maximum security prison. 
Warner Brothers has spent years pursuing fruitless attempts to put together a remake. Producer Joel Silver is the latest to take a crack at it, and he wants to not only remake the film, but turn it into a trilogy that's reportedly in the vein of Rise of the Planet of the Apes, and inspired by the 2011 video game Batman Arkham City of all things. Tomb Raider Aside from the half-dozen Resident Evil movies, Tomb Raider is likely the next most successful video game movie franchise ever made, thanks to the two Angelina Jolie films from the early 2000s. Warner Brothers is looking to reboot Tomb Raider on the big screen with Academy Award-winning actress Alicia Vikander as Lara Croft and Justified's Walton Goggins as the villain. As Goggins put it, the film will be like Raiders of the Lost Ark meets a genre version of the Joseph Conrad novel Victory and Island Tales. Though not much is known about the story, we do know it will closely follow the gritty new video game series, which finds a young Lara Croft on a quest to find a father. Ocean's 8 after remaking Lewis Milestone's original Ocean's Eleven from 1960, Steven Soderbergh followed up with two more successful installments, but the cast and crew opted not to make a fourth film due to Bernie Mac's untimely death. Instead of another sequel, Warner Brothers has decided to simply reboot the series with an all-female cast. Helmed by Hunger Games director Gary Ross, Ocean's Eight will star... Here we go. Sandra Bullock, Kate Blanchett, Helena Bonham Carter, Anne Hathaway, Dakota Fanning, Rihanna, Sarah Paulson, Mindy Kaling, and Matt Damon? Matt Damon! Damon is set to reprise his role from the original Oceans trilogy as Linus Caldwell. The film's scheduled to arrive in June 2018. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.